This is the plaintiff, Angela McClendon. She says the defendants, her former landlords, sold the house she was renting, kicked her out, and she was almost left homeless during the start of the pandemic. Now they refuse to return her security deposit. This is outrageous behavior, and she's suing for the $2,650 she surely owed. These are the defendants Eugene and Rosa Maritato. Rosa says they told the plaintiff they had sold the house and agreed to give her back her full security plus an extra thousand dollars if she vacated by a certain date. The woman agreed, then stayed an extra two months. So their deal was negated. Now they owe her nothing. They're accused of double-crossing a tenant. All parties, please raise your right hands. Welcome back to the People's Court. Next case on the docket, the plaintiff says her former landlords were heartless and threw her out in the street. She became homeless in the middle of the pandemic. But the defendants are begging to differ because they had an agreement with the plaintiff to leave and she stayed two more months. It's the case of who double cross who. Thank you, Douglas. You're welcome. Okay, Ms. McClendon, you are suing your former landlords, Eugene Maritato and Rosa Maritato, for $2,650 that you say they owe you. Tell me what happened. How long were you living there? Um, I was a tenant of the Maritatos for 13 years. Okay. Um, I had uh, lived in the unit. It was a small single family home. Um, I lived there my daughter and I until she moved out, and then I lived there by myself. Okay. So I was there 13 years. All right. There was a $1,650 security deposit. Everybody agrees that that's accurate, correct? Yes. Okay. And then yes, what happens? You receive notice from them that what? Uh, what happened in uh, September, uh, Mr. Maritato um, came to collect the rent for the month of September. He then told me that they had sold the unit, and that uh, the new owner would uh, wanted me out by October the 15th. I then uh, told him that was like a really short notice. And that well, I it was, wait, hold on one second. Hand. He's giving you that notice at the beginning of September. September 6th, exactly. I okay, and, and here's my question to you. Um, did you have a lease? Yes, ma'am. So you were in the middle of a lease? I was right in the middle of a lease. So they your lease to was going to end when? I had been there 13 years. I was on a year-to-year -year lease, and then they changed it from to month to month. Oh, so you're on a month to month, which means they have to give you 30 days notice. So if it's the end of October, then they gave you almost 60 days notice. So I know that feels short if you're the one who has to move. It's stressful, well, they but it's the amount of notice required. But in any event, at one point, they, um, I don't want to say bribe because that sounds wrong, but they were giving you an incentive, correct, uh, Mr. and Mrs. Maritato? You folks uh, offered her what in order to move in 60 days? Your Honor, um, we offered her $1,000 plus full security back because we were in contract to sell the house and the gentleman that wanted to buy the house, he needed for himself and he wanted to be vacant. You offer her an extra thousand if she gets out at the end of October. Did she get out right. at the end of October? No, she did not. And we lost the contract. Because it was oh, contingent on her vacating? Right, right. Yes. Okay. All right. I mean, so I let me ask forward. you, Ms. McClendon, did you get out? Because you're suing for the thousand dollar money promise, but it's kind of funny because you yourself admit you didn't get out at the end of October. No, ma'am. I end up finding a unit by 11-15. That's when I signed my lease. Okay, so why would you be entitled to that $1,000 you're suing for? Um, well, because really, Your Honor, it was basic, basically the security that I was asking back. Okay, so are you dropping um, the request for an additional $1,000? I mean, I'm, I don't want to drop it because they... Okay, I'll just rule against life. you on it. So Because it couldn't be clearer that if I say to you, I'll tell you what, if you get out by the 31st of October, I'll give you $1,000. I don't have to give you the $1,000 if you don't get out. You see? That's what gives you the entitlement to the $1,000. You were persuaded to get out by me giving you the $1,000. And the irony of all that is that 
they'd already given you sufficient notice. I realize that you feel like the longer you live somewhere, the more attached you are to it, and all that's great, but if you're on a month-to-month -month tenancy, you only have to give them 30 days notice if you find something you like, and they only have to give you 30 days notice. That's it. You don't have greater rights than that, and they don't have greater obligations than that. Now let's talk about your security deposit. You end up leaving on what day in November? Okay, the, um, I started moving my items out on about the 15th, because that's when I signed my lease. And 15, 16, 17, so I'm gonna say the end part of November okay. was when I was totally out of their unit. Okay, and you did pay rent for November, right? Yes, ma'am. There's no dispute about that, right, Mr. Maritato? Uh, no. What I want to understand from you, Ms. McClendon, is you say you're entitled to the entire security deposit back, and you, Ms. Maritato, say she is not. Why do you say she is not? Welcome back to the People's Court. The plaintiff says the defendants are absolutely heartless by kicking her onto the street, but the defendants have a very different story. Let's go back into the courtroom. She, uh left all her belongings in the house, okay? And uh, she said she was dealing with my husband, but she was also dealing with me. There's a whole bunch of text messages that I sent her uh, uh, in regards to the belongings that she left in the house. What did she, she leave in the house? Up. Refrigerator, two sofas, bed, dresser, all canned goods, uh, Pots, pants, uh, boxes, all this stuff. And she told me, she goes, I'm so sorry because I couldn't take it with me, but you can donate it. But Your Honor. <laughs> yeah, that's not how it works. Pandemic, yeah, that's not how it works. Pandemic, that is not true. Who do you give it well, to? Well, but here's the so, thing. Did you leave all that stuff behind? Because I just showed you pictures of it. So did you leave Did you leave okay. the place clean or did you, uh, and, and empty? Your or Honor, did you leave things? Can you hear me talking? I did. Right, so I why did. are you talking over me? Did you leave all that furniture behind? I did, Your Honor. Okay, well that means that I they have to that... pay somebody to move all that stuff. And you know that because okay, that was actually no. discussed in the text, wasn't it? Yes, it was. Okay, so, and what exactly is discussed? Let's talk about this. Here we go. Good morning, Angela. Hope you are well and safe. We have been trying to find someone to remove the furniture and the rest of the stuff you left in the apartment. We even asked Justin, the realtor, if he could recommend someone. I just heard from him and he said, no one wants to do it. So we start to search ourselves to find someone, which we did, but they want $650 to do it. So before I give them the okay, I wanna check with you if you are okay with it if, or if you'd rather find someone yourself to move your belongings. This is on December 11th. They're still giving you a chance to move your belongings and you say, uh, good morning, Rosa, I'm well, thank you. I wish I knew of someone who could move the items from the house. Then please, by all means, go ahead and pay them. I apologize for not being able to get them out myself. It's not a problem. I also wish you a very Merry Christmas. Love your forever tenant. Okay, Angela, then we will have them remove it and when they are finished, I'll refund you what's left of the security deposit. All right, so that means you were going, to, you folks had, by December 11th, agreed that you would take 650 for the furniture and stuff she left behind to get it moved and then return $1,000. I just read your words, Ms. Maritato. So did you ever return the $1,000 that you just, uh, I just read out loud, you said you would return to her? No, no, but Your Honor, we could not get that stuff removed until the, December, at the end of December. Why? So, and then we- Why, why? Uh, they told me they couldn't do it until then they were busy and they couldn't do it. So her stuff was in our apartment until this, uh, the end of December. Right, and but you never, I'm, so what, what is your premise that you should be able to keep the thousand dollars for December rent? Because her stuff was in our Okay, in now that's house. fine. I, and normally I would say, hmm, she's kind of have a point. If I hadn't read a text from you on December 11th, which is halfway through December, suggesting to her a resolution that you would, take 650 to solve the problem, and this is December 11th you say that, and that you'll return the rest of her security deposit. What changed between December 11th and December 31st that all of a sudden you decide that you can get December rent? Absolutely nothing. So I am ordering you to return $1,000 in rent, not 2,650, just the $1,000 left over after the 650 that you yourself settled with her in the middle of December would be the cost for her having left all her junk behind. All right, verdict for the plaintiff, $1,000. Thank you, Your Honor. 
So the plaintiff prevails is going to get $1,000 back, not really what she wanted. She wanted more than that. Uh, I doubt the defendants are very happy about this. Mr. and Mrs. Mary Tato, how do you feel about it? Well, honestly, uh, when I told her that I would uh, refund whatever was left of the security, okay, we did not anticipate that it was going to take this long to have the stuff removed. And on top of that, we had to pay for the dump to have the stuff dumped, which was additional money. Well, yes. I'm sorry, the yes. judge held you at your word. That's what you told her you do, and uh, she's holding you to it. So you gotta give her $1,000 back. Okay, Ms. McClendon, you're only gonna get $1,000 back, not the 2650 you wanted. How do you feel about it? I just wanted to, you know, I ended this relationship with these landlords on an amicable basis, and that's all I wanted. Um, I just wanted my security back. I had lived with them 13 years. That's the judge's decision. Let me ask you this. Are you are you okay now? Did you find a nice place and are you happy there now in your new place? I'm in a beautiful location. I'm in a nice area and my family is thriving and we're well. Okay, good. Well, congratulations. So, Doug, what's interesting about this case is the landlord and the tenant reached a settlement here. And what you should do when you do that is you, you memorialize it by text or email, and you make clear what the terms of the settlement are, the date of the settlement, and then it is case closed. Judges, when you award statutory interest, how much is it really? Given the rates are so low, it can't amount to all that much, can it? Thanks, Stephanie. Statutory interest is one of those kind of boring things that judges do in, in all civil cases, and it's fixed by statute. Usually it's, it's either a, a particular number that they adjust every year, sometimes it's tied to the prime lending rate, right, uh, or just right at or, or near that. And what it does is it recognizes the time value of money because of course there is a value to having money over time. But, and, and, and it's also, um, every state has different rules about how they do it. Some of them have a really high right. prejudgment statutory interest right. that has nothing to do with the prime lending rate. Right. And, that, and then they don't even revisit it for four or five or six years. And, yeah. and, and so it's really untied to anything and it's kind of weird. And then some tie it to the prime rate and some just review it every year. Right. So, um, and when interest rates are high, those rates tend to be high. When interest rates are low, they tend to be low, right?